Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a very basic calculator in Ruby. We're basically gonna build a little program that will allow the user to enter in two numbers, and then we'll print out the sum of those two numbers. So we'll get the two numbers from the user, we'll add them together, and we'll tell them what the answer is. It's gonna be pretty cool, and it'll kind of give you guys uh, some more information about getting input from users, specifically how we can get numbers from users. So keep in mind, in this lesson, we're gonna be using the terminal or the command prompt uh, in order to get information from the user. So you wanna make sure that either, if you're using Atom, you can use this Platformio IDE terminal plugin that I talked to you guys about in the last lesson, or you can just use your normal like terminal or your normal command prompt. Um, so I'm gonna be using this little Atom plugin that I have. So let's talk about how we can get input from the user. Specifically, we need to get two numbers. So down here, in our program, we can just write out the code to do that. So I'm gonna first write a prompt. I'm just gonna say puts, and we're just gonna type out a message for the user. So we'll say enter a number, and then we're basically gonna get that number that they entered and store it inside of a variable. So I'm gonna create a variable called num1, and I'm gonna set it equal to gets.chomp. And gets is basically going to get whatever information the user enters in and chomp is going to get rid of the new line that they accidentally enter when they click the enter button so whenever you click enter in ruby and you're inputting information into the program it's going to add a new line on, onto the end of whatever you input so this is just going to get rid of that for us the next thing i want to say is another prompt so i'm going to say puts and i'm going to tell them to enter another number and once again, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna say num2 is equal to gets.chomp. So essentially we're asking them to enter in two numbers. Now, all we wanna do is just print out the result of those two numbers. So I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna put this inside of parentheses and I'm gonna say num1 plus num2, right? Essentially what we're doing is we're getting two numbers and then we're printing out the sum of those two numbers onto the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna come down here into my terminal window and I'm just gonna run this program. So I'm just gonna type out ruby draft.rb and this is gonna run the program for me. So it says down here, enter a number. So why don't we enter five, enter another number, let's enter two. And now when I click enter, this should add the two numbers together and print out the answer. So I'll click enter. And you'll notice down here, we're actually getting a little bit weird of an answer. We're getting the answer 52. Now, last time I checked, five plus two wasn't 52. Essentially what we're doing is we're concatenating these two strings together. So here's the problem. When you enter in information into Ruby, Ruby automatically just converts whatever you enter in into a string. So by, you can enter in as many numbers as you want. You can enter in decimal numbers, normal numbers doesn't matter. Ruby's just going to convert it into a string. And when we add two strings together like this inside of a put statement, it just does what's called concatenating the strings. So it takes the first string and it adds the other string onto the end of it, right? So that's why we get five, two. Um, in order to actually add these two numbers together, we're going to have to convert the strings that the user enters into numbers. So over here, we're getting a number num1. Here, we're getting a number num2. But remember, when we actually store those variables, they're getting stored as strings. So all we have to do is take num1, convert it into a number, take num2, convert it into a number, and then we'll be able to run this program successfully. So all I have to do to do that is just say num1.2, an underscore, and then an i. So it's num1.2i. And basically what this means is we're converting num1 into an integer. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, dot two i. So now we're basically taking these two strings, num1 and num2, and converting them into integers. So Ruby's gonna take whatever the numbers that were inside of those strings and convert them into integers. So let's go ahead and run our program. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm just gonna type in clear, and I'm gonna type in Ruby draft.rb. So it says enter a number, we'll enter in five, enter another number, let's enter in two. Now when I click enter, you'll notice that we're getting the answer, which is seven. So that's pretty awesome, right? We were able to build our calculator and it was able to add the numbers together. Here's the problem though. Let's say I come down here and I run this program again and I enter in a five, 
but now I enter in a 2.5. So for example, instead of just entering in two, I'm entering in a decimal number, 2.5. When I run this program now, you'll notice that we're still getting seven. So our program wasn't able to add this, this 0.5 onto the answer. That's because over here, we're converting these to integers. So we're saying num1 is gonna get converted into an integer, num2 is gonna get converted into an integer. And so really all this is doing is it's adding in the integer five and it's adding in the integer value of 2.5, which is just gonna be two together. So if I wanna be able to add in decimal numbers in my program, instead of saying 2i, I'm gonna say 2f. And 2f is basically gonna convert whatever is inside of those strings into floating point numbers, so into decimal numbers. So now when I run this program down here, we'll be able to do that addition. So if I say Ruby, and I'm just gonna enter in a five, and now we'll enter in that 2.5, and now this should give us the number that we wanted. So we're gonna get 7.5. So 2f or 2i are two really useful little functions that we can use on numbers. And in some cases, you're only gonna want the user to be able to enter in integers, so you can just say 2i. In other cases though, you want them to use uh, floating points, so we can use 2f. So that's the basics of building our little calculator. Now I also wanna point out one way that we can make this program a little bit easier. So instead of saying num1.2f down here, I could actually come up here and I could say gets.chomp.2f. And I could do the same for this one over here, .2f. And now this is gonna convert them up here, so we don't have to convert them down here. So this is gonna work exactly the same as it worked before. So I could say like 5.6 and 7.2, and it'll be able to add them. So that's just another way that we can do that. But that's sort of how we can build a basic calculator inside of our Ruby programs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.